All right, well, I answered a question that I had from uh, the video about uh, inmates sending emails out. Uh, I just clicked on this link, the caller email link, and there's a section here from the Bureau of Prisons about email. Electronic messaging has become a standard form of communication within most American homes and businesses and it can now be used to help inmates stay connected to their families. The Trust Fund Limited Inmate Computer System, TrueLinks, application enables electronic messages to be exchanged between inmates and the general public in a secured manner. With the inmates' eventual release, maintaining family ties will improve the likelihood of a successful reentry into the community thus reducing the potential for recidivism. Wow. All right. Who uh, pays restrictions? Each inmate must be approved to use the system and each person that an inmate wants to communicate with must must give their permission to do so. Inmate access to TrueLinks is controlled and inmates do not have access to the internet. Messages can only contain text and no attachments are permitted. Message size is limited to 13,000 characters, approximately two pages worth of texts. Monitoring. Inmates and their contacts must consent to monitoring prior to using the system. In addition, all messages are screened for content that could jeopardize the public or the safety, security, or orderly operation of the facility. Okay, well, that, uh, that answers that, and that's what this video is about. Uh, if you got a... While we're on the subject of email, if you got something for me, lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, -E, at protonmail.com. See you in the next one.